how's it going? So we're gonna go over how to draw an evil teddy bear. So join in, you can grab a marker, a pencil, anything. If you want this marker, um, I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen. It's very similar to a Sharpie, except it lasts way longer. And it has no toxic smell. Uh, Sharpies tend to have a really horrible smell that is uh, bad for your brain over time. So uh, keep that in a ventilated area if you use it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with side of the head. Go down to the cheekbone, teddy bear. Underneath the chin. And pull up around the head, at the top of the head. I'm gonna throw a line here for maybe the top of the, you know, like a furry head. Pull it down. Back of the ear. Front of this ear. This ear. Going down for the other side of the head. All together. Now we're going to start with the eyes. It's going to be furrowed because we're drawing an evil teddy bear. At an angle. Going down for the eyes. Think of like a square that was cut off at the top. We're both cut off on the top. Upside down triangle for the nose. I'm gonna fill that in. A W shape for the mouth. And I'm gonna draw a little sharp teeth. Thin evil pupils there. And that off there. Uh, lower portion of the mouth. I'm going to draw the body now. Pull down the belly here. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect this. I was going to leave it open, but I'll connect it. Arm kind of coming off like a, a little bit of a tube here. So think of like a wiggly arm on both sides. One leg. The other leg, like he's walking. Think of just simple, simple uh, teddy bear style shapes, you know, just very kind of round. Uh, I'm going to draw some nails here. And I'm going to draw stomach shape. And then I'm going to put like, like those that are his claws on his feet. That is, I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna thicken the eyes. This is gonna make it look like he has bags under his eyes. It's gonna make them look more evil. And if you really want, you can draw the stitching on him. You draw a straight line maybe down the side here, over here, over here, here. And then right there along those lines, I'm going to draw lines uh, vertical to that, as if that's stitching, just small lines. And I'm going to do it on the belly as well to make the little cues, you know, sewn together, uh, maybe, maybe in a bad way, you know, maybe you could even draw like um, a shape over here, like, maybe with, like a Frankenstein teddy. And that is pretty much it. I hope that was easy enough for you. Hopefully it was simple enough for you. 
comment in the description. We're going to be doing this three times a week until Halloween. So let's keep this up. Uh, I'm going to stay motivated if you comment, if you share, if you like, all that stuff. And then we're going to keep this up all the way to Halloween. Also, send me any requests in the comment section. Give me your troubles. What is your trouble with drawing? Maybe I can help you out. Uh, one last thing, if you like, you know, monsters and drawing and that kind of stuff, buy my personal sketchbook. I'm going to be putting it in the uh, top link in the description. This is a collection of various crazy ideas that I draw, all like space and monster related, a lot of variety there. Um, just some wild stuff. Uh, and it's 24 pages. It's completely full and packed full of drawings. So if you want to draw in a similar manner, or if you're just a fan of this kind of work, or you want your drawing to look like this, this is a perfect reference source, uh, just perfect things to look at if you're aiming at that, that this style of drawing. Uh, absolutely like a must have. Uh, I'm going to put that link in the description. I have a few more left, so uh, get them before they're gone. Uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you in the very next video, and uh, let's uh, keep drawing, guys.